Hello, my amazing, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic friends. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back. So I've tried to film this video a million times and um, it's just not, it just hasn't been working. I've been trying to film and I just end up not being happy with the video and that's why I've taken another break that I didn't need to take. And I was late to uploading and it's just like, I'm very frustrated. <laughs> but um, yeah, just mental hasn't been good. In my last video, my mental was great. The mantle was really good and it was good for like another day or two and then it just fell downhill again. Balance is hard. You know, balance is really hard because it's like I want to feel my emotions because I think it's healthy to feel my emotions, but sometimes I feel them a little too hard and I fall into a crippling, crippling depression for weeks on end and um, it's not good. It's not a fun time. I just would like to get back to functional depression. You know, here's how I think about it. I'm depressed. I've been depressed for years and years. However, for a long time, I had functional depression, which basically means, you know, when you're, you say like, oh, I'm, you know, depressed and people that don't believe in depression or think depression can be fixed and all that stuff with like the blink of an eye are like, oh, go work out, go take a shower, get this, get eight hours of sleep, go to the gym, eat three meals a day, eat your fruits and vegetables, all, all that jazz, you know? Sometimes if you don't have like chronic chemical imbalance depression, that'll do wonders. That's how I used to be in the sense where I had the depression, but I at least was able to do that stuff. Like I still had depression, but I was able to, you know, like wake up early, go to the gym, cook all my meals, get all my work done, had a good sleep schedule, like I had all that, even though I was still depressed. The thing is, is that I'm not doing any of that now and I still have depression. So it's like all this other stuff that just like makes you sadder, makes you more sad and makes your mental health worse is on top of my already existing depression. You know what I mean? So I want to at least get that lump off. So we're, um, the goal is functional depression. Like the long-term goal is to be happy and to, you know, like I know happiness is fleeting and whatever like that, but like the long-term goal is to not have depression. However, as of right now, I would at least like to get back to functional depression. So that's what we're gonna try to do. I went to the gym yesterday. I'm feeling hella sore because I haven't been really going to the gym. But I went to the gym yesterday, I feel sore, but I feel pretty good. I got like a decent amount of sleep and now I'm gonna go to the grocery store. It feels, I feel like it looks late, but it's not. It's 12.30. Woke up pretty early this morning, chilled with my cats, got some work done. My uncle called me that we had, we had to like talk about some stuff. But yeah, now I'm, I'm done with that. I'm gonna go to the grocery store. My goal is really to cook my meals. I really wanna cook more because I've been slacking in the cooking department. Just got back from the grocery store. I really wanna cook some more this week. So I tried to get a lot more groceries and a lot more like ingredients as opposed to just getting either like all frozen meals and chips. I did get quite a few chips, but. However, I found these. I thought they looked pretty interesting and I kinda wanted to try them out. They're plant-based pizzeria filled pretzels. I'm pretty hungry. So maybe I could just try a few, see how they taste. They're not bad. Not bad, not bad. Actually, you know what? They're pretty good. I like them. I actually like them a lot. Mm -hmm. Should I do a breakfast sandwich or should I just do like a BLT? Mm -hmm. Pesto BLT. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Mm. My cats broke my spray oil, so now I don't have any oil to make bacon for a BLT. So I will get that tomorrow. So I'm just gonna do the tuna rice bowl and some french fries because those were already in the air fryer by the time this happened. You guys have seen this before. I don't have to run through it again. Probably annoying at this point, honestly. This meal is so good. Wish I had a bagel, but honestly, this is just as good. Mm -hmm. I eat this every day, guys. Like almost every day. That Emily girl, she knew what she was doing. For dinner, I just rewatched Parasite. And whenever I watch like some type of Korean, whether it's a K-drama or a Korean movie, I always crave either jajangmyeon or tteokbokki or rabokki or some type of Korean dish. So 
I'm gonna be having that. I kind of want a japaguri to kind of go with the theme of Parasite, but I don't have all the ingredients for japaguri, so we are gonna go with raboki, a classic comfort food of mine. Basic ingredients, we have water, some sesame oil for flavor more than anything, fish sauce. Also, I saw someone comment saying like, oh, you don't add, you didn't add the sugar to your raboki or tteokbokki. I don't like adding sugar, personal preference. I don't really like it when it's sweet. We're gonna make black bean raboki, by the way. I'm gonna add some gochujang, almost done. Gochujang, and uh, I'm also gonna be air frying some tofu, which by the way, air fried tofu is the way to go. Ever since I started air frying tofu, it's like you just don't go back. And then add some black bean paste. Add shiitake mushrooms, add the rice cakes, add the ramyun, good to go. You guys have seen me make it a bunch of times. You guys, I feel like y'all know the gist because I make it so frequently, but it's just, it's so good. It's so good. And it brings me happiness and comfort and I would eat it every day. Mmm. Mmm, it's so good. Mmm. -hmm. Hello, good afternoon. It is like 1.40 p.m. I have to start streaming V soon, but I'm gonna make myself a breakfast, a good sized breakfast because when I stream, what happens is I end up eating like something really quick and small for breakfast and then I end up starving because I stream for like really long hours in the day. So we're gonna try to have like a bigger breakfast, not like bigger, not like a big breakfast, but like a bigger breakfast than I usually do when I stream because I stream for like, you know, sometimes up to eight to nine hours and then I like don't go without eating for that long and I'm like starving at the end. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make bacon, egg, and cheese on a bagel. Um, I think I'm gonna have some tater tots on the side. These tater tots are so good. I've been like on a tater tot kick. And then I think I'm gonna have like a big thing. I think I'm just gonna like snack on this fruit while I stream. I got this big fruit salad when I was at Whole Foods yesterday. Yeah, that'll be my breakfast. I'm Russian now, I'm Russian, I'm Russian. Not like Russian, I'm rushing. Bagel, tater tots, big bowl of fruit, mixed fruit. Okay, I'm running late, I gotta go. What am I not running late? I'm always running late. Just got done streaming. It was a really good stream. Had a lot of fun. Gonna be playing some games with my friends in a little bit, some more games. For dinner, I kinda just want something quick and simple, but still, you know. I'm contemplating if I'm gonna make just like pasta or if I can make some tortellini, because I think I can make some spinach tortellini with some meatballs and some vegan pesto. I feel like that would be really good. Maybe roast up some mushrooms. Mm, yeah, 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 let's do that, let's do that. Ta -da. Hmm? Hello. Hello. Mind if I just scooch here? Part of being a cat owner is always finding cat hair in your food. I know that sounds gross. I know that's probably gross. When I first, it first happened to me, I was disgusted as well. But it just, it gets there. Somehow, some way, I'm not sure, but it gets there. Hot. Pineapple popsicle. Mmm, it's so good. Oh gosh, it's already really late. I had like a really weird thing happen while I was sleeping. Like I kept waking up and falling back asleep, but I kept falling into the same dream. It was really weird. It was not, it was not fun. And then my uncle had to come. I have therapy soon. So we're kind of in a rush. <laughs> My constant state of life is just like rushing, rushing, rushing. I was just like to relax. But I'm gonna eat something really quick before I have therapy. So, <gasps> ow! Oh my God, I almost just sliced my hand. I love how I said ow, like I was preparing to hurt myself. Like I was holding the knife and I accidentally let it slip and I grabbed the knife like that. And I, I nothing happened, but I had said ow. Like I was, I was ready to be hurt, even though I wasn't hurt. <laughs> Kettle chips are the best. I went to the gym today. I don't know what it is, but I'm just like not, I was just like not feeling it today. Mm. Mm. I don't know, I couldn't get in the mood. Like I couldn't get in the zone. What? What ghost do you see today? Got my chips, 
And my bagel. Pre, not even pre-therapy. I'm gonna get on therapy now. Oh my God, therapy mukbang. Cute. I'm gonna make some dinner. I'm gonna make some noodle soup. This is kind of what I'm craving right now. So it's just gonna be bok choy, shiitake mushrooms, air fried tofu, noodles, and I have one of these soup packets from some shin ramen that when I was making rabuki, I didn't use it. So that's gonna be base for the broth. I think I'd add a little bit of sesame oil. Full flavor. There we go. So they're about this big. I air fry it, season it with sesame oil, soy sauce, salt, and pepper. And I do it for at 370 degrees for like 15 to 20 minutes and they turn out perfect every time. Mm. I love just eating my noodles like straight out of the pot. Mm. I haven't really eaten much today because therapy is quite draining. Therapy is like back and forth. Like sometimes it'll give me like a crazy appetite and other, eyes, other times it's the exact opposite. I also hung out with Tyler for a little bit, talked about some heavy stuff there too. So it's just been like, not a mentally bad day. I don't wanna say that, but like draining. It's like stuff that I'm happy that I talked about my therapist and Tyler, but also just, it was a lot, <laughs> you know? Mm hmm. Mmm. Adding rice cakes last minute. Good choice. Good idea on my part. Hello. Good morning. It is barely morning. It's 11.56 in the morning. I woke up at like 8 and I should have just gotten out of bed, but I fell back asleep and I ended up waking up at like... 10.30, unfortunate. Today I will be streaming, so um, I have to start getting ready like now. So I got myself a Starbucks matcha latte just to like treat myself because I freaking love matcha lattes. So it's a matcha latte with oat milk, obviously, and two pumps of sugar cookie syrup. And I decided to get it hot because it's actually pretty chilly outside. I kind of just wanted something that makes me feel like I'm getting a hug. Mm. Anyway, um, so I'm just gonna drink this as like a snack. Can a drink really be a snack? Not really. But I'm gonna drink this before I start getting ready. And then before I start streaming, I'm gonna have like a proper breakfast. And then before I start streaming, hopefully I have enough time to like make a proper breakfast. But if not, I'll just have like a bagel with cream cheese if it comes down to that. But I wanna get ready first because I'd rather feel rushed making breakfast than feel rushed getting ready. I hate feeling rushed while I'm like doing my makeup or my hair because it makes just like, I don't know, getting mad at your hair or your makeup is like a different kind of anger. Like I don't mind feeling a little rushed while making food, you know, because I could just throw a bagel in the toaster, pop some cream cheese on that, or you know, have like granola and yogurt and that would work out fine. But I can't do that with like my hair or my makeup, you know, it takes time. It takes time to catfish, you know? Hello, running a little late. What else is new? I don't think I have like any time to toast a bagel. So I'm gonna have um, some yogurt. This is uh, so delicious coconut milk yogurt. Not too bad, it's a vanilla flavor. Let's have two. I think I'm gonna eat the rest of these sliced up oranges because these are so freaking good, guys. They're so like sweet and like just the right amount of tang. And, mm, it's so good. And then I also have some blueberry granola. I have frozen fruit. Oh, that Good. And that's about it. So granola, frozen berries, vanilla yogurt, orange slices on the side. And that's my breakfast. Hello, my loves. It is 10.15 p.m. And we're doing the tuna rice bowl. Salmon rice bowl, but it's with vegan tuna because I don't feel like cooking it. Because I don't feel like cooking. Yeah, that's my only reasoning. <laughs> I just don't feel like cooking right now. Are you sick of watching this? <laughs> are you ever are you sick of seeing me eat this? Well, that's too damn bad. For dessert, I'm having a pineapple popsicle. Mm, this has been like my go-to dessert. It's just like fruit popsicles. Like there's probably other ingredients in it, but it really just tastes like pureed pineapple. It's so good. I don't know, I've really like not been into like chocolate. I don't know, I've just been into fruit. Like this kind of sweetness at the end of the night. Like I haven't been craving cookies, chocolate chip cookies, and that's like my favorite dessert of all time. Hey, <laughs> it's... Almost 1 p.m. Just got out of bed. I woke up at like nine. Cuddling with these guys. Mwah. They're like your own personal heating pads when you're in bed, man. It's so hard to get out of bed. Hey, yo. My power just turned off. What the f the power is back on. Um, that was weird. That was a good way to start the morning. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I just got a really cool opportunity in terms of like Twitch and things like that, which by the way, if you don't follow me on Twitch, you should. 
I stream three times a week and I dedicate a lot of time to streaming. We do a lot of talks and like I mostly do just chatting streams, which is basically like, it's just like a conversation. I really enjoy it. But today is not a streaming day. Today is an editing day because I didn't upload a video last week because I'm just, it's the mental. It's the mental, it hasn't been masked. So let's see, let's see, let's see. What can we make? I think I have a bagel still that I wanna eat before it gets stale, obviously. So I'm gonna have a bagel, I think. I think I'm gonna have a BLT with some french fries on the side. I think I'm gonna do mozzarella cheese. Pesto, BLT, BST, because spinach, not lettuce. And then fries are almost done. Did I make too many fries? Nah, no such thing. No such thing as too many fries. I will put on a new sweatshirt after I eat this meal. Mm -hmm. Adding pesto to your BLT is where it's at. I know it's probably not like a new concept, but it's new to me and I love it. The way he locked eyes with me and then got down, he knew, he was learning. Hey guys, so I kind of wanted to touch on how I've been feeling mentally. Uh, I talked about this a little bit in my previous video, but I want to just touch on my mental health as a whole instead of focusing on how it's just been affecting my appetite. So why is my mental health been at an all-time low? I really couldn't tell you, but I know I have to work towards making it better because I can't preach about self-love and not practice it, right? That makes me somewhat of a hypocrite, which I think we can all be hypocrites at times, but this is something that's really important to me. The fact that so many of you have commented on these videos or some of you have even come to my streams to tell me or even message me personally to let me know that I've helped your relationship with food in some way is one of the main reasons I keep doing what I do. Like, God, this stuff sounds so cliche and I feel like this is something that everyone says, but you guys literally give me a purpose and make me feel like I have a place on this earth, so thank you. I think I've shaped my personality into a person that I needed when I was younger and when I was growing up and you guys basically confirmed that I'm doing just that and it makes me so, so incredibly happy. I want to not only help your relationship with food, but also help your relationship with yourself like of course healing your relationship with food will also help with the relationship you have with yourself but there are so many other factors that go into self-love than just food my mental has been good i know you guys can tell i can tell too i know my mental health is bad when like not only my food intake decreases but things like basic hygiene become extremely tiring and take up a majority of my energy for the day. I become insanely sedentary. Like I hardly go to the gym anymore, guys. And it's really not something I'm happy about. And the brain fog I've been feeling these days is honestly terrifying because I've been at this point before and it was one of the darkest times of my life. And I really don't want to go back there. I don't want to see myself like that. I don't want you guys to see me like that. And I don't want any of you guys to ever be in that place. So since I'm like this, I want to try and show me like, glowing up i guess kind of like a mental glow up not a glow up in the sense where like i lose a ton of weight and i you know look prettier or whatever which by the way i really am not a fan of how glowing up and weight loss are always correlated together but that's a discussion for another time maybe my glow up will involve weight gain i don't really know and who really cares i want my glow up to be about being well rested and drinking enough water and eating food that i love and also makes me and my body happy i want to have better time management and be happy with the content i'm making because this is what i love to do and i haven't really been doing any of that lately so i have to make a change and if you're already there like let's say you've glowed up and you're doing great then i am so so proud of you i admire you i look up to you and i want to be like you it must be nice <laughs> but if you aren't there just like me then it's okay i'm not any less proud of you but i want you to be happy and healthy and i want to be happy and healthy so let's get better together yeah <laughs> this whole entire segment is basically just like this is kind of something i want to start on my channel like a little bit of a glow up series i don't really know the kind of content i would make it'd probably be a lot of day in the life things maybe making goals for the day i don't know but i kind of want your guys's input what would you guys like to see and if you think it's a good idea i think it'd be a fun idea but yeah it'll be a series where we get better together <laughs> It's time to make some dinner. I just got out of the shower. It's been a day. We're not gonna get too into it. Just know it's been a day. Mentally, not good. <laughs> Mentally, not the best day. 
We're gonna make some dinner now. This is Soon Tofu Soup Kits. I found these at the Korean grocery store and I was like, yeah, that seems pretty easy. Boil the water, add the sauce packet and stir. And then you can add whatever other ingredients and then you add this extra soft tofu. Well, that's pretty easy. I think I'm gonna add a soup bok choy, mushrooms, zucchini, green onions. I think I'm gonna add udon noodles and maybe some rice cakes. Okay, Ooh. so bok choy. Ooh. And zucchini. Hello. Hello. And then I'm gonna add the green onion like towards the very end. And just a few. Ugh. I love soft tofu for like stew. Ugh. I'm actually wondering, mm, maybe I'll have rice on the side. Maybe I'll just have rice. Yeah. I'm gonna have rice instead. I think the soup's done. Ooh, that looks good. Mmm, not bad, not bad. Hi, Bomi. I'm so sorry. You wanna sit with me? Oh, I didn't get a bowl. I didn't get a mini bowl to eat with. The... Uh, that's fine. I didn't even get chopsticks. Oh my gosh, I'm slacking. Mmm, gotta get chopsticks, baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And then we also have some rice. It's not spicy, it's just really hot. It like just came off the stove. It's just like, it's nostalgic because it's how I was raised to eat. It's how my mom ate. Is that why I do that? Because like, I was raised to do that. That's how my mom ate. Like I know the food is too hot, but I'm still eating it. Ha! Soup feels like a hug. It's like, damn, the world's ending. I'm depressed, but at least I have some soup. Some sundubu, sundubu jige. Mm -hmm. And before you go, if you haven't already heard today, you are amazing, you are beautiful, you are wonderful, you are so valid, and I am so, so happy that you are alive. I love you so, so much, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!